Hello, welcome to LAV Toys. We are heading back into Ninjago land to continue building the Ninjago Gardens. This is part three of our Let's Build series. The reason I have turned this into a series is one, it is an enormous set, and two, the building techniques are so interesting and it is just higgledy-piggledy chaos with buildings stacked on top of each other. It's bright, it's colorful, it's awesome. I wanna savor it, so come along for the journey. Part three, here we go. We're up to bag number nine out of uh, a lot. <laughs> I've forgotten how many now, but here we we go. We've got the first minifigure. Actually, there's a minifigure in each bag. So this minifigure has got a Lloyd shirt on here. So she is a Lloyd fan and she's cute with her freckles. I just love her. This is according to the, the, the information. This is Christina. I don't know anything about Ninjago. Well, I know the basics of Ninjago. I have watched the series, but I only retained, you know, the very obvious details <laughs> of, of, of that world, of the, of the Ninjago universe. So I know some of the stuff, but I don't know any like most of it and this is jam-packed with stuff for true die-hard Ninjago fans but also just jam-packed for stuff with people who really like building because this this is surpasses just the Ninjago fandom. Now while I've been busy babbling we've actually built the basis of the next room and this is this, well we've got a little bed in the back there it's a hollow bed so we're gonna be able to stash stuff in it which is a bit weird because you don't tend to stash stuff in your bed. You tend, tend to do it under it. But that's the idea of it being under the bed. These windows are just an awesome way. Look, see the blue bits here are the curtains. The ornate windowy things, well, the ornate fencing stuff is, is the actual window. So these are the windows next to the bed. And up here on the shelf, I had to look this up because I had no idea what these were. These are actually miniature builds of Ninjago sets. So these ones that look like the Sydney Opera House with the little sails are actually a catamaran. I don't know any of these sets, but I looked them up. It was so cool. This is the dragon, like a teal dragon. And the, <laughs> the red roller skate is actually one of the races. So that is so awesome, but you wouldn't know that unless you look them up, I think. This is cool. This is the bedspread. This is like the total Ninjago super diehard fan. The person who would know about all this stuff who could have to teach me. This is the bedspread. So there's space under the bed for putting your stash, your sword. You stash your sword in there. That's where we keep our sword. So that's 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 nice. That's handy because you never know when catastrophe is going to strike in Ninjago City. I don't know what this little one is. That like a, the Temple of Ajitsu, like a tiny, tiny version of the Temple of Ajitsu with the red and the black pointy bit on the top. That's all I could think. What that is. I loved building the Temple of Ajitsu too. That was an awesome, epic build. Right uh, over here, we've got um, some walls. We need walls. So otherwise. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, people are going to fall out. Is this little white minifigure, like the tiny minifigure, I think, is it, is it, is it, is it Woo or is it Zane? I just, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it, I, I'm, I'm assuming that it is like a minifigure of one of those. I could be completely wrong. Maybe it is a minifigure of Olaf. I, 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 probably not. And this poster of Visit Ninjago City is really, really great. This is just cram packed with all the good stuff. It is color central in here and I don't think we could fit anything else in. Now windows. These nice brown ones go obviously in the spaces that we have left for them and then we're pretty close to actually finishing up this room itself but there are still some more diehard Ninjago fandom things to go around this room. So let's get these bits on and then we can check them out. So this is a sign that's hanging out here between the windows and it has got it says, it says Ninjago on it, so even I can't get that wrong. There's a fantastic neon sign out here. It's just, oh. this is just so, there's so much color. It makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> okay, chocolates lining the sides here. We're going to be making the same angled star wall that we did in the other, like the, the other buildings. I've got a few checked out the other, the other parts of our Let's Build. And every one of these awnings is entirely different. So this one, look at that. That awning is made out of those, like, one by three things with the two little jumper studs in the middle all upside down all in black all the awnings are black but they're all made completely differently <laughs> it's just a master class in how to make awnings in lots of different ways with just black pieces in fact the whole build is a master like a master class it is these are these are really really fantastic builds this and ninjago city are my favorite builds to date and once again savoring it i'm enjoying this i might sound a little bit creepy when i do that but i'm definitely am enjoying this okay we have angled walls and we have this interesting looking like cutter which is actually going to be a lamp so this lamp goes here on the wall and this then clips in to make our angled wall and there's a big hole in the bottom so that's gonna let the mosquitoes in 
that's okay. Uh, and then we need these on the bottom, which are going to help us position it correctly on top of the previous building. So where it's actually going to sit on top of. And let's go and see where this goes. So it goes on top of the little noodle house down the bottom. And it goes, let's see, am I, have I got this in the right place? Because it needs to go... Oh my gosh, that hangs over the over the side, like over the sidewalk quite a lot. I'm pretty sure that's in the right spot though. Just checking all the sides. Yes, it's lovely. It's perfect. So we have got a whole room and now we're up to bags. Bags number 10, which have a lot of grey, but they do have another minifigure. So this is a little leg guy. He is apparently also a Ninjago fan. And he has got freckles and a beanie, and he's just so cute. But he's also, he, he's accompanied by a video cassette, which is not what I was about to say, because he's not just accompanied by a, by a VCR tape. Why does he have a VCR tape? He has got Woo's dog. <laughs> and I actually have another version of Woo's dog, because it came in um, uh, Woo's White Dragon, which was a set I built, I think, before I was even doing videos on YouTube. So maybe, or maybe early on then. I just love building dragons. Okay, so little dude's hanging out there with the dog and he has got a VCR tape, which I would love you to tell me why on earth he is holding it. Not that I say no to another VCR tape because so far I've only had them in the Sesame Street set. So it's nice to have a whole like, well, not a whole heap of them, but one extra. That's always good. Okay, so like I mentioned, lots and lots of grey. We are in the world of grey, the bags of grey, and this is going to be making the walkways up on the next level. So we're going to just make sure everything is in the right place, but we're going to grey all this up, and then we are going to get it on, and then, oh, then we got a whole heap of railings. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be the central piece. The connector piece. Is it? Yeah, so this goes here, and it, that now we're on the nice right angle that we're going to need to put this up in. Oh, and I don't know where this goes. What's this for? Are we extending the walk area? I love how there's so many angles. All of the angles are awesome. I never think to build on angles, and this is just full of it. <laughs> it's just full of it. Okay, we've smoothed it over the top of this, so it looks like we're going to actually be putting something on this. Maybe this is actually going to be the basement of another shop or another room. So this plugs in over there, and yes, we have extended our area. What is this now, though? We got some more. We got little Technique pinholes there in the back. We got some forward-facing studs on the front. And this is, oh, yeah, okay, this is going to be the basis for another room again. Okay, this makes perfect sense. These are cool. So these are actual skis, aren't they? And they're making a really great embellishment for the front. Okay, now, now we get this. <laughs> wow, so clear, Ellie. Thanks, thanks for describing that. You did an awesome job. This looks to me like, uh, like a little plane or something like that. And I think I might need to turn them around to just fit a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know which way they're supposed to go. And it's on a technique piece here, so it actually, flops down when we plug it in there and it's going to be going it's actually a miniature of another ninjago set one of the one of the flying ones you can tell me what they are i've actually i looked them up as to what they were but i couldn't remember what they were <laughs> while i was doing it so but i did look them up and i thought it was just so cool how they integrated it all okay now it is time for the railings with all of the paid advertisements on it this one's the drilling like for a drilling company the rock raiders i had to translate all these that was that was it's actually quite hard to translate some of this ninjago language in the different fonts that, that are on here so i i struggle a little bit <laughs> struggle at a lot of stuff so all the advertising I don't know what this one says I couldn't figure that one out it was like Makama Bolobo Bolobo I don't know what what I like the green of it though I liked all the plants on it but I don't know what it's actually supposed to say so translate it for me tell me tell me inform me keep me informed and a crab this is the crabs for the crab shop and that's this crab shop because it's got crab on it and this one this one is this one says snap and Snap's got something to do with something Ninjago that I don't remember. Either that or I've translated it incorrectly, which is also a very good possibility. This is really, really interesting. So we have the snowflake. We've got a little hat. We've got some of these broken egg pieces in gold. And we have made the most fantastic shieldy something or othery thing that comes over here next to this advertisement for whatever that is. It's something renovation. 
So that that's the big signage there for, for the something renovation. More signposts, let's get them all on. And we're using some blank game controllers here for the actual advertisements, which is so awesome. There we go, look, so we, we're advertising some sort of V game shop. And now, now we get some more advertising. Surprise, more advertising. Another V, another V, and this one is toy, toy V. Mm. So for the toy shop, <laughs> thing. I love them though because they just make these grey railings so vibrant and everything about this whole build is just it's just vibrancy plus it is fantastic I'm pretty sure I've said that a few times already if I haven't mentioned before I really really enjoy building this it's lots of fun okay we've got a little skeleton dude here he's got his shield breastplate thing on yeah, we've got two of them we've got two of them and they go on either side of this this is such an epic parts usage and they pop off here because I've done something here that makes it not overly secure. Let's just try putting that on again. Yeah, okay, that looks kind of flimsy, but we'll leave it there for now. Now we have got some, some beautiful lanterns in blue to hang from all of our railings with the, with the advertising. If I remember correctly, and often I don't remember correctly, we had these same sort of lanterns, but in orange. Or red for the for actual Ninjago City. So this is the same, same, but different blue in much more soothing tones. Okay, got our lanterns on here. I'm just I just trying to fiddle with this because yeah, I've put it on upside down. No wonder it wasn't secure. It's not Lego's fault, it's my fault because I did not follow the instruction properly. Now it's super secure and it's even in line with the other ones. So that makes perfect sense. Let's put this up here and see how we go putting our next level on. Yeah, all right, and the tree has to kind of fit that technique little pick pointy uppy pinny bit. Uh, oh, I've lost the <laughs> I've lost the lamp, the lantern from the or the light from the room. Is that is that supposed to have I put even put that in the wrong spot? Maybe I don't know that the light's in the right place because I keep knocking it off with the yeah with the next floor. Okay, yeah, let's just move, let's just move that. We're putting that in again. I'm putting it down lower because I think I put that in the wrong spot. There we go. Now it's not going to catch on that. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, and the tree fits in nicely here and adds beautiful support on the front. And we've got our grey walkway and yeah, just moving these over because they don't they don't clip on very nicely in the middle. And check this out. Check out in here inside the Ninjago fan it, fan room. It just sits here against the little top shelfy thing. That's really cool. You know what I mean? Like the spinny thing. Okay. They're looking, it's looking really, really good. We're up to bag number 11, which has got lots of blue in it. This is the ice cream shop. So I know we've done a bit now, but we, I just, I want to build the ice cream shop. So we get a minifigure with the best ice cream shop shirt ever. Did that come out correctly? Ice cream shop shirt. Yes, nice. And he has got an ice cream cone and he's got the ice cream on it, which is nice. And he's also got a spoon because he's going to be dispensing ice creams at my whim all day for whenever I want ice cream. So we've got the ice cream dude. Now we've got to build his shop. Hey, <laughs> that was a little bit sinister. So a gray floor, this is going to be sitting on top of one of those little platformy bits that we built up on the new gray walkway. And I don't even know, I don't know which side quite it's going to go on yet. But I love the shades of blue to start with. It's all already looking very pretty. And this spot here is actually the servery, translucent orange tiles for the front. And here are our scoop ice cream flavors. I don't even know what flavors they are, but they look so great. Oh my gosh. Okay, inside, what else do we need inside the ice cream shop? We've got this thing, which goes here over on the wall. Is it like a tap or like a, I forgot to put the little stud on the top. So I think it's like a tap. Maybe, or maybe it's for soft serves or for washing hands. And a pile of pink stuff in one corner, which they would be parts of pink ice cream scoops. That seems a bit crazy to me, but it looks fantastic anyway. And some pieces here piled up on top of each other to make some parts of the wall. And outward facing studs mean we're gonna be attaching something to them to add some definition, which is cool. Got a shelf inside there, so, but these aren't for the shelf. So we've, these little claws are gonna be here to hold stuff stuff which will become clear as we go along and of course you gotta have see-through windows otherwise you can't see all the good stuff inside and that would just be it'd be like a blasphemy <laughs> you gotta be able to see inside okay so this claw holds a stack of 
of, of, of lighter colored ice cream cones and the next claw holds like the waffle cones I think so you got the cheap cones which are very tasty and you got the waffle cones which are also very tasty and this is some sort of fancy what on earth is that some sort of fancy thing that's already prepared up on the shelf some silver cups very nice and this is apparently the the dots pineapple sitting up there on the top of the shelf well, these are little easter eggs that I wouldn't even know if I hadn't looked them up the door has it, it says open which is nice <laughs> in 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 jargon in non in jargon did i just make that up like because jargon is no all right i possibly didn't maybe i did did i make it up tell me did i make up nin jargon i need to stop right so this is here now a little penguin with a welder's hat why does he have a welder's hat so the penguin says when we put all this together in the right place he says yummy which is totally correct so that's good there's no fake news there and on this door we get no signs there's a door out the back so this is the back door why do you need a back door of the ice cream shop mm, that seems a bit sinister to me no ice cream stores can't be sinister stop it okay we have a black awning over our back back door and an interesting thing going on over the front there with a claw and what is happening here and a panel little grills facing inwards that's really cool and I have no idea what they're for. Okay, around the windows. We're lining it with smooth curved pieces to make a really nice definition there. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, but now, now I might get to find out why the front up the top looks so weird and how we actually integrate all of this into it. Oh no, oh, oh no, look at this. So look at this, hello awning number 67. <laughs> this one, this black awning. I don't know how many we've done, but this feels like a lot. This one is all black, but it is being created with a whole world of black cleavers. This is amazing. I just, this, it, <laughs> the awnings are blowing my mind. How often do those words come out of people's mouths? Okay, here is the sign for, for our ice cream planet. Yum. And, well, ice planet. Speaking of the sign, here's the actual sign that says it in Ninjagon. Ninjagon. I, I don't think I made that up. It just feels too familiar now. Okay, so the black awning is now above the shop and it looks absolutely fantastic. What else do we have though? So we've got, is this, I don't think this is roofing. So we've got some more flooring we're putting out the back and it's on an angle. And now we're getting the walls up to kind of finish off the ice cream shop. There's an table inside little little insert and this ice creamy thing in there with the translucent orange bit and the blue and the white which we've just covered with wool that seems like a strange sort of ice cream I wonder if it's also an easter egg of some sort not an ice cream but an easter egg we have now clipped together this wall that we've just made there's an air conditioning unit outside which is very important to keep the ice cream cold <laughs> I love this little shop and the little angled area inside all these angles there is not a lot of room in there I don't really think it's designed for playing it's very hard to get the minifigure in there, but it looks so good. This is such a fun build. <gasps> ice cream, ice cream sign. Oh my gosh. And you can see that through the front door, which is really very good because otherwise it'd be wasted having that nice big colorful sign inside. It's been perfectly positioned, which is obviously by design. Well done, Lego people. Okay, now this looks like another sign for, uh, what does that say? It says museum. So this says museum. So it is another railing for our sidewalk. And on the sidewalk is an ice cream, a spilled ice cream. And the heart shape makes the blob. Oh, there's nothing sad other than a spilled ice cream. Our oh, first world problems really, but spilled ice cream is a very sad. You just wonder what happened to the person who dropped it. Were they super, super disappointed in their day? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> We've made some stairs to go up to the next level. This is looking really, really amazing. Too many reallys. I think I'm overusing really now. But I do get very excited. And this is the handrail with, an, with a hammer at the bottom. <laughs> a hammer at the bottom of your handrail. And now we've got another awning in black made out of game controllers. <laughs> color me totally amazed that it just doesn't it, it, how many more ways can we build awnings in black there's so much more of this actual build to do okay this goes up here on this level right here on the end it was pretty easy to figure out where this was supposed to go and it looks amazing oh my gosh okay 
All right, we're up to bag number 12. We're not even halfway through this build yet. I need to go and have a nap. So <laughs> you need to make sure you've got notifications on, subscription-y things on so that you find out when the next, we'll do the next part of the Let's Build really, really soon. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me know what you thought of this part of the build. I'll be back with other stuff soon. See, I'm so tired. <laughs> I love it. Okay, see you soon. Bye.